Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day three of my seven-day Mardi Gras cruise. And today we are in Cozumel. I just want to say before I get started, I appreciate you guys watching me. Thank you for being here and deciding to hang out with me today. Today what my plan is, is it looks like there is a shopping, I guess, for lack of better terms, we'll call it a strip mall or a shopping plaza right off, right off the port. I'm assuming kind of like Nassau. I haven't been here in probably about a year and a half, maybe two years. This was actually my first place I went to when I started cruising in 2022. So I'm curious to see how it's changed. But today my plan is I just, um, I want to go into the shopping center and I'm going to look at, just kind of shop around and look, look around. I didn't do any excursions here. Um, a lot of the excursions were to go see the dolphins or the stingrays, and I've already done that last time I was here, so so I decided I'm just going to hang out kind of by myself, just walk around and go shopping a little bit. I do want to get some vanilla. The, the host on board yesterday said this, they have world famous vanilla here, so I'm going to go to, uh, what is it? The Mayan Fiesta Rum Cakes and Gifts and get some vanilla. They gave us a coupon. And then uh, I'm going to go to Viva Mexico. There was something there. I don't remember what it was offhand, but there was something there that the lady said or the host said was a good good to go get. And then I'm going to go eat. I want to go to the like Three Amigos or one of the restaurants and try some authentic Mexican food. You know, the difference last, last time I came is I was all excited about doing the, the tequila and stuff. They do have tequila testings, tastings, however, comma, um, trying to adhere to my dry January. I'm trying to not drink as much this year. And so, as I said in my previous video, I'm doing dry January. So instead of going to test the alcohol, which I would normally be excited about, I'm actually going to test the food. I've decided this year in 2024, instead of spending money drinking and trying alcohol, I decided I'm going to try food instead, you know, something different. Um, and I don't get a hangover the next day. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to Three Amigos. You know, obviously this place has like all the the typical tourist places like Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. Um, but I don't want to do that. Like I, I could go to Margaritaville pretty much anywhere. You know, there's a Margaritaville in Orlando if I really want to. But so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go check out Del Sol, which is the clothing store that changes color in the sunlight. Um, other than that, like this afternoon back on the ship. Let me get my app so I can tell you kind of what the plan is for that. So on the Carnival Hub, on the app, if you've never been on a Carnival ship, you can go through and you can you can heart stuff that you want to do and then it goes straight to my planner. So you can just pull up my planner and you can see. And right now, um, all I put this afternoon was like, they got beanbag toss, which is cornhole. And then they have a Disney Kincaid exhibit. Every Carnival cruise ship I've been on, they always have an art exhibit. Um, I want to say it's like five gallery or five west something like that but they always have the disney kincaids and i do like disney i'm not going to buy it here because they're so expensive on the ship which everything is don't get me wrong but um i just like to go look because i like the way he painted and I, I like i like his pictures i like his artwork and then they got karaoke tonight i've never made it yet i'm going to one of these nights and then at the center stage they got love in vegas which is another show and then they got Family Feud tonight, so I'm excited about that. Uh, they did tryouts on the first day with families. They said 100 people, 100 families made it, and then they did cuts the next day. 18 families made it, and so they have the Family Feud live. They have a classic one, and then at 11:45 they have the after hours, which is a little bit spicier. It says, which I don't know if I'm gonna make it. 11:30. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to that one. And then um, Family Feud. Then they got uh, the Comedy Club, they always have comedians on Carnival. Um, tonight it's Billy D. Washington, and then the Piano Bar, and then uh, the guy that play, takes requests, um, you know, once again, live music. And then there's a silent party. I just want to go see that. Basically, you check in, you get your headphones, and then you choose your music, and you just dance with your headphones on. So I just want to look at it. I'm not going to dance, but I just want to check it out. And then, after, and then, like I said, 1130, they got the Family Feud after hours which is the the spicier questions so that's kind of what my plan is today if i make it till 11 30 i'll be surprised because i'm pretty tired but right now i'm gonna get ready and go up and grab a cup of coffee at the grand central station and then wait to get off the boat so 
let's begin the day. Okay, so they're already letting people off the ship right now. I'm gonna just go get some coffee real quick. Since we have a lot of hours here. That's the fancy coffee line. Don't really want to wait. Right here is a good spot to people watch. Watch everybody go by as they're getting off the ship. Mmm, just like Starbucks. <laughs> All right, so now I'm headed to go off post to go into Cozumel. Welcome to Cozumel. All right, I am in Mexico, in Cozumel. Uh, when you get off, they got all the little, like the Mayan dancers, Day of the Dead, people dressed up, stuff like that. So, right now there is one other ship here in Port with us. It's the Carnival Breeze. Oh, I lied. There's actually more. Celebrity Constellation, which I filmed this morning actually as we were coming in. And I, the other one's at Virgin, I don't know, I wear glasses so I can't see. It is a balmy 76 degrees today and cloudy, in case you're wondering. Nice and humid though. Man, this is a big duty free. It goes on forever. So here's where you meet if you're doing uh, carnival excursions. I chose not to. Just gonna kind of walk around, hang out, go shopping. So right now everything is super crowded just because there's four cruise ships here. I feel like everybody got off at the same time and it's just really crowded. It's a drugstore. All right, so that is the line to get a taxi. There's four cruise ships here and uh, I'm not gonna wait. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go walk outside the gate and see what's right outside the gate. So kind of like Nassau, taxi drivers uh, stand right outside the gate and holler for rides and stuff like that. Or I can get a scooter. <laughs> you want to go to the flea market? Let's go check it out. Let's go look at this. This is like a nice store. So every shop offers tequila tastings. My theory is they want you to get drunk and spend some money.
every shop has the sugar skulls. Different variations. I've saw like sports teams. I've seen different colors, flags, stuff like that. Vanilla seems to be a big thing here. Every shop has vanilla, which I want to get some because I guess it's the best. I didn't realize it was such a big thing though, here in Cosmo. I thought it was just tequila. And then they got the drugstores. You can get your, they advertise anabolic steroids, ED, uh, probably pretty much anything you want. There's just these drugstores you walk in, you can buy. Free. Almost free, huh? Yeah. That's a nice camera. Thank you. So first is what it's built, senorita. Ah, by the way, you know that you can get everything here for free? Yeah. Keep it. Hola, welcome. Got the Louis Vuitton. Some Gucci bags. Information is put in rent cheap from Bogus 18. No, thank you. No, thank you. Hola. Mm -mm. Just Good, how are you? Thank you. Alright, so just about every shop sells the same thing. I get the map. Oh, we have one, but thank you. Really? Yeah. Uh, also, this one is the Cosmo Island. We are here International Pier, Puerto Maya. Example, just walk three mile and a half for the north, you can find the, the downtown, the old church, for the grocery store. I have different activities inside that you can find it. Right. This is the taxi line again. Puerto Maya. All right, so I went out and uh, kind of walked around the local markets. You know, they call them flea markets, but it's just basically a row of stores, one right after another. You go back in, they take you to the furthest one, and then as you walk out, everybody else opens their doors and expects you to go in. Um, also, I was looking at renting a scooter, possibly, but then it started to rain, and so I don't. I wanted to see the Mayan ruins, but I'm not going to just because it's raining here, and I don't want to ride a scooter and get all wet. So now going back to like the port, I got the bay. shopping, so I can just stay covered and go in the shops again. And so I'm back on the port and just going to. I guess kind of continue to go around and just look at everything. Um, it's funny because, like I said earlier, every shop offers you tequila, so it's tough to be on a dry, uh, dry January on vacation. I will say that, but it'll be worth it, right? I feel better every day, so just gonna let's keep going shopping. So anything you can find outside the gate, you can find inside the gate. Just, it's more expensive inside, like right next to the port. You know, you can get t-shirts. Uh, I saw four for $20, four for $25 outside in the shops. Uh, they'll bargain with you outside in the shops. Inside, the little like fenced in area for the ports, for the cruises. 
shirts are a lot more expensive. And I haven't tried to buy anything yet, so I haven't um, see if they would bargain or whatnot. There's two turtles. Oh, there's iguanas in here. I see a dove. Another turtle, lots of turtles. Well, now I want to see an iguana. Oh, there's Santa. I'm sure if it wasn't raining, there'd be people laying out here on the beach. You can sit here and look at the cruise ships. Poncho's backyard, I saw a lot of people sitting in there. It's a place to go and eat. I think the meals were about $20. I looked at the menu. Right now we got a world coral exhibit going on. pictures. Here we go into Piranha Joe's. That's a shirt for every woman. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? It smells like burning plastic and black smoke coming off. So there's my ship, the Mardi Gras. I am at, oh, you can't even see it. I'm at Three Amigos. It's so loud here. So I'm at a restaurant. It's the one I wanted to eat at. As soon as you, hold on, there we go. As soon as you get off, like go through the duty-free shop, right off to the right is Three Amigos. Um, I just want to try some authentic Mexican. So I'm going to get the, I'm going to get some tacos, some street tacos. And, um, but it's a cool view. I get to sit here by the water and I get to look out at the clear blue ocean and look at my ship. Not the real Mayan ruins, but kind of a cool little uh, fountain. 
All right, so one thing I've noticed since I've been here, as soon as you get off the ship, like all these shops are crowded. Now that it's, we've been in port for about three hours, four hours, there's actually nobody here. You can actually go in, you can go shopping. Plenty of room. You can even do karate if you really want to. All right, so I ate uh, the street tacos at Three Amigos. They were pretty good. Uh, one thing that I was surprised is like the shells, they're soft. Um, I don't know if that's like a Mexican, if that's the way they do it or not. Cause you know, I eat Taco Bell and Taco Bell's authentic Mexican to me, but I want to eat Three Amigos, which if you've never been to Cozumel, it's actually right off. You get off the pier, uh, the ships uh, where they dock, you walk and it's immediately to the right. So pretty easy to get to. It was like a big party there. They had like a Congo line. People on the Congo line, they would go by and do like a, uh, the shots, um, it was a lot of fun. The food is really good, and uh, I'm glad I went. Um, what else? I did some shopping around. One thing I've always been interested in was Philip Stein, and if you don't know what Philip Stein is, is they have like, I guess, like rare earth metals or something, but it's supposed to help you sleep at night and stuff. And uh, when I went to the sea show yesterday, they actually gave me a coupon for 25% off, and so I went to the Diamonds International here today. And I bought a Philips sign. Um, it originally, it's quite a bit of money, I guess, but with the 25% off, I figured I would never get it any cheaper. So I ended up buying a Philips sign uh, sleep uh, band to try to align your body, I guess. it. What they said is it's supposed to block the electromagnetic uh, fields from like your cell phone and stuff and it's supposed to help you make you help you sleep better at night and reduce your stress so i bought one because why not i'm in cozumel and it's something i've always wanted and i figured i'd never get it any cheaper they do sell them on the ship but um like i said i had a 25 percent off coupon if you go to this to the c show like the shopping show they'll give you coupons and stuff to work uh, at the ports and so i took advantage of it um, and now right now I'm just kind of hanging out, just enjoying Cozumel, sitting, I'll call it my spot. It's the place I go to every time I come to Cozumel, sit here and just stare at the ships. I'll show you the view. Just stare at the ships. Last time I was here, I was in the Paradise, which was the front ship because it was a smaller ship. I guess maybe the, the smaller ships go there, bigger ships go in the rear, but just kind of hang out and just listen to the ocean and enjoy the breeze and listen to, to the the drums and all that, the steel drums, the, the mariachi bands, all that good stuff. Just enjoy Cozumel. And then, I'll, so I gotta be on ship and probably, well, it's about three o'clock right now, be back on ship at five, I believe. So I'll go up there, try to find a spot because one of my favorite things to do is try to look for pier runners. I've never been fortunate enough to see a pier runner, you know, last minute. If you don't know what a pier runner is, as the ship, we're supposed to be back at a certain time, and the people that show up late, they call them pier runners because, in in theory, they're running to catch the boat, but it doesn't always happen. And so I've never actually witnessed a pier runner. I've seen plenty of videos on YouTube or TikTok, but I've never actually seen a pier runner. So maybe this today, I don't know, but. That's kind of what I'm going to do right now. Just kind of hanging out. I did all my shopping. Like I said, I got a Philip Stein sleep band. Went in all the shops. I didn't really get anything. I went in the Seoul, asked about the electric scooter that I was interested in. And that's about it. So just, just enjoying my vacation. A nice, relaxing vacation. Get some time on land before I get back on the ship. And then we head to Costa Maya tomorrow. So yeah, just, just hanging out. All right, so now um, getting ready to go back on the ship, getting ready to go through the Cosmel duty free. You got to go and you got to show your ID card and all that stuff to get back on. All right, so this is the duty free shop. If you noticed earlier in my video, it was like wall to wall people. But if you wait a little bit, it's there's not really a whole lot of people here. So my recommendation is either wait a little bit to get off the ship or if you're looking at the duty free, no, thank you. Looking at duty free, just get it on the way out. Go get it on the way back on the ship because then there's going to be nobody there. 
And right now, hold on, I'll let you look at me. All right, so right now I'm just going back on the ship. It is about, it's 3.30 right now, so we got about an hour and a half, I think, two hours, before we got to get back on the ship. So I'm gonna go back on there, probably go get something to eat, maybe some Guy Fieri burgers. Even though I eat street tacos, I do love to eat, so this is my, uh, my foodie trip, if you will. So let's go get back on the ship. All right, so I didn't realize it, but I have like the perfect window to watch Peer Runners. But I won't be able to like hear people cheering them on as they run down the pier, but still pretty cool. I'm probably still gonna go outside, but I didn't realize it. Like this is, of all the, the rooms, 4407 if you wanna watch Pier Runners and Cozumel on the Mardi Gras, definitely uh, recommend it. So here we go, we got about five minutes until the, the, until the cruise, the pier runners start. There's a whole group waiting to watch them. They gonna be late as hell. You better get that on the Lots of people up here on the eighth deck of uh, Carnival Mardi Gras. So that was it. There's only about three of them that were late. I do wonder what it's like to have the world revolve around you or think the world revolves around you. I wish I had that mentality. But now I'm gonna go, and tonight I wanna eat chai bang. Uh, it's the Mexican Chinese fusion place, and then I want to watch Family Feud. Those are kind of the big things I'm gonna do tonight. So let's go ahead and go get ready for dinner. <laughs> So for dinner tonight, I want to go to Chai Bang, Chai Bang, Chi Bang, however you say it. It is a Chinese and Mexican cuisine. Because I have early dining reservations, when I signed up with Carnival, I did the early dining. It says I'm supposed to wait until 7.45 before it becomes available. However, comma, if you come and talk to the hostess, they're going to get me in. They basically canceled my other at the main restaurant reservations and they're going to try to get me a table here so just kind of hanging out waiting until i get a table um i would come back later but tonight's like i said family feud i want to do stuff like that there's a bunch of shows i want to see tonight i don't want to spend my time in a restaurant eating when i can be watching the fun shows and all that good stuff so that's kind of what's going on right now <laughs> Okay. Alright, so I just finished watching Family Feud. I couldn't record in there. They use the same set that's on TV, so uh, the announcer said, um, the announcer and the host said, there's no recording. They actually stopped the show twice because some guy was recording. They actually called him out. You know, they stopped it middle of the show and said, the guy in the white shirt stopped recording. And so I didn't get any footage from Family Feud, but now I'm gonna watch, I believe it's called Vegas Nights on the central stage. It's, it's in about 50 minutes. It's one of the shows. Um, this is the only night, or this is the only shows they're having here because all night they're doing Family Feud. They have another session, then they have like the, the spicy evening session. So I'm just kind of hanging out, um, waiting for Vegas Nights. I got a good seat and I don't really want to get up. So I'm just going to stay here and just hang out for the next 50 minutes till the show starts. So I guess I didn't mention it, but they rope off this lower area and then 30 minutes prior to the show they opened it and then the floodgates opened and everybody basically lined up and then went and got their seats. 
so that's one of the reasons I'm sitting here just waiting to watch the show. But here it is, 15 minutes before the show, and pretty much every seat's taken on the slower level. And then if you go up, uh, the cool thing about this stage is like the atrium bar and the other carnival ships is it's actually like three levels. And so they have chair, they have like a stadium seating on levels seven and eight as well. And they got like uh, tables with in front of the glass, like you can kind of see right there is people sitting. They have it on both sides. But you gotta get it here early. So, that's all, I just wanted to uh, mention that. In case you were thinking about coming on the carnival, you know, trying to kind of help you guys plan your evenings, if you will, or give you guys something to think about. That's what we're talking about. We have a TV screen over here to my right and my left. It's going to give you guys a close-up look of tonight's show. With that being said, I thought we'd start off tonight with a little bit of close-up magic. You see, every time I go to Las Vegas, it's all about a game of luck. And every time I sit at that table, I take one dollar, one simple dollar. Once I get there, I do a little magic, a little blow, a little whistle. And just like that, I can turn one dollar into twenty whole dollars and the crowd went crazy <laughs> but everyone knows that it
This is the silent party. They hand out headphones, you pick your own music, and you go in there and dance. And this is the line to get in. Dang. It looks like a popular event. my head in there and film real quick for like a YouTube video? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so tonight's a national championship, uh, college football, and so everybody's here hanging out at like Pig and Anchor. They have a band here sometimes, but obviously not tonight. This is actually like kind of the sports bar on the ship, in case you are a sports fan, and this is where they play it. You can kind of see how uh, rocky the ocean is. Water in the pool is sloshing. I haven't seen that. It looks like a little uh, Instagram wall. Take pictures. Nice and relaxing, little bed there. You can sit on, drink your drink, enjoy the, the foliage. All right, so this is actually, um, I'm gonna go, the last thing I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna go watch uh, the Family Feud, like the adult version, the 18 plus show. And I already know I can't record in there. So on that note, I'm just gonna say, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. This was day three. Really appreciate you guys, and tomorrow we are going to Costa Mea, and that's kind of all I got. Um, just kind of been walking around, listening to some live music, saw the silent dance party, but I'm going to go to bed after this one, so like I said, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, so have a good night. Bye.